Dr. Solomon needs to see you right away. There's a significant increase in Kendall's intracranial pressure. I'm sorry. The pressure could force your daughter's brain into a brainstem. Brain function would cease, but we could maintain body function artificially until she delivers the baby. You mean my daughter would be dead, but she would have baby? Yes. But you can relieve the pressure, can't you? We have a drug that will reduce the pressure. And then, and then after that, then she would, she would be all right? The drug is not FDA approved for pregnant women. While it will address Kendall's ICP problem, it could also severely reduce her systemic blood pressure. And then what would that do to her? It would reduce the blood flow to the placenta, compromising the baby. You want us to choose? If we don't treat Kendall, then she dies, but you'd be... I mean, the baby could go full term and live, but if Kendall receives treatment, then the baby could die. We'd take the baby before administering the drug to Mrs. Slater. But I thought Dr. Mayer didn't want to take the baby for like another two weeks. We no longer have that option. How long does my daughter have? I can't promise anything. Her condition can deteriorate at any moment. Maybe we can wait a day, two at the most. If you decide that nothing should be done, we'll make sure Mrs. Slater is comfortable. But if you decide on treatment, let us know as soon as you can. We want to administrate the drug as soon as possible. If we don't take the baby now, by cesarean, if we cannot give Kendall the medication that she needs, she'll be brain dead. But she doesn't have to be. Kendall can live. Kendall can recover. Kendall told me she wants this baby more than life itself. She wouldn't want him taken early. Zach, this shouldn't just be your call. Kendall is my daughter. I love her. I, I just want what's best for her. I'm honoring your daughter's wishes. So Zach just takes Kendall away and romances her on the yacht and... and gets her to marry him in some quickie ceremony and that gives him a right over her life? Zach, I'm so glad you're here. Tell me what's happening. How is Spike? Is he all right? I'm making sure that Spike gets all the time he needs. I want you with me. We did this your way, now let's do it my way. Open your eyes and come back to me. I didn't just marry you. I married the whole package. And Spike is, is a big part of that package. He's the most important part of that package. So Erica doesn't get the last word. It's yours. Your decision. Your voice is different. Softer. Zach, are you scared? Are you touching me? I can't feel you now. Is this dying? Am I dying? We never get to practice breathing for the big day, so maybe we should practice that now. So keep breathing and come back to us. Spike needs you to be here. Because if I... There's never going to be another woman like her.
Kendall can't die, Zach. I know you're her husband and her next of kin. But I have custody of our child, and I am going to okay the C-section. She deserves a chance to fight for her life. You know the baby might not make it. I can't risk Kendall dying. And I can't let you sacrifice the baby to save Kendall. That's not what I want. It's not about what you want. It's about what she wants. as much as we all do. I'm gonna have to leave for a little while, but I'll be back soon. I know. You hate to see me go, but I gotta fight for you and for Spike. I won't let you down. You or your son. have to fight too, okay? I'm trying. I can hear you, but I can't touch you. I can't hold you. Don't give up on me. You stay safe for me. And I'll make sure your son stays safe for you. I'll protect your son. I'll stay right here with you. Thank you, Zach. God, thank you so much. I really, really love you. Are you dragging this out? We've all been given away to save Kendall's life. Now, you say you love her. If you love her so much, why are you hellbent on, on, on letting her die? I won't let anyone take Kendall's rights away. Is that what you think I'm doing? Taking away Kendall's rights? I've done nothing than try to protect Kendall's number one right, the right to live. If you force Kendall to carry this baby longer than is medically advised, you're the one who's robbing her of her rights, Zach. You'll be killing her. I'm honoring what she told me she wanted. She couldn't possibly have done that. She had no idea she'd be lying in that hospital bed with this, this most unimaginable choice. Please don't do this. Kendall needs those drugs. Please, please, let the doctors help her. Please. I, I, I can't lose my daughter. I don't want to lose her either. Then stop this. Please stop this before it's too late. It's not up to me, Erica. Don't do this. Don't pretend that this is Kendall. My daughter would choose life. That this is all you. Erica, Erica, that's enough now. Now, listen, go, go and find Ryan. Take him to the courthouse. This, this argument is meant to be there, not here. You're right, Myrtle. The judge will see things our way. to orthopedics, Dr. Fisher. Don't let Erica get you. She's Dr. terrified of losing seven, seven. Kendall. Dr. I know the feeling. This is killing you. Yeah. But Myrtle, she wants this baby more than her own life. Yeah. Well, you know what's in her heart. So what am I doing? 
fighting for a signature and a death certificate? Am I doing the right thing? I'm about to stand up in the court of law and demand that they withhold the one thing that could save Kendall's life. And if I lose her, if... You're honoring her wishes, darling. I, I don't know if your ears were burning before you got here, but I said to Erica that you loved Kendall as much as any of us do, as much as all of us do. And that was the little lie I told for Erica's sake. Because I don't know anyone who loves Kendall as completely as you do. <laughs>